HIV Transmission Probability Folks, Mark Medicals is here to teach you about HIV treatment, HIV symptoms, and everything concerning HIV infection. In this video, let us look at HIV Transmission Probability. Here are 21 facts for you. 1. You remember guys, that I already told you that, not every HIV exposure results in HIV infection. Many people luckily escape with no infection even after a high-risk exposure. 2. Actually, many HIV exposures carry little risk for HIV infection and you will be surprised when data is shared. This low risk for HIV infection is actually a reason many of you guys wonder how lucky you are when you test negative after the condomless lovemaking. 3. Let us dive in and look at different risks, and please watch the video, and share it with your friend. This data is from CDC so I guess it is the most well studied and accurate. 4. For every 10,000 people who get a blood transfusion with contaminated blood, 9,250 or 1% could actually end up getting infected. 5. For needle sharing during injection drug use, 63 or 0.006% out of 10,000 will get infected. 6. If you got pricked by a blood-stained needle or what we call needle stick injuries, only 23 out of 10,000 or 0.0023% has a probability of getting infected with HIV. 7. For receptive anal intercourse, 138 out of 10,000 or 0.012% will probably get infected. 8. For insertive anal intercourse, 11 out of 10,000 or 0.001 will most likely get infected with HIV. 9. For receptive penile vaginal intercourse, women, 8 out of 10,000 or 0.0008% always ends up with HIV infection. 10. For insertive penile vaginal intercourse, men, for out 10,000 equivalent to 0.0004% is risky for HIV infection. 11. Both receptive oral intercourse and insertive oral intercourse are classified as very low risk and carry less than 0.000001% risk. 12. Also, bidding, spitting, spilling or throwing body fluids and sharing sex toys has what is termed as a negligible risk to HIV. This implies that, biologically it is possible but in practice, no cases of infection have been seen. 13. From the above statistics, blood transfusion has the highest risk of HIV infection but getting HIV from this source is now low because all blood is screened for HIV and other diseases before transfusion. 14. Also, from the same data I just gave you, women are at a higher risk of HIV compared to women. This is because being a receptive end of the intercourse is riskier than penile insertion in men. This is actually true finding because, in all HIV clinics I have worked in, the number of women are always higher than men. Is this true also for you guys? 15. Again, from the same data, HIV transmission probability is actually very low. For any HIV exposure you could have had, you have less than 2% of getting infected with HIV. This means that, out of 100 exposures, only two times is likely to result into HIV infection. So guys, if you tested negative, stop that HIV phobia and anxiety and accept that you are truly negative. 16. From the same source, some factors like the presence of sexually transmitted diseases, acute and late-stage HIV infection, and high viral load will always increase your risk of getting infected. So, people are still in HIV window period carries the highest chances of infecting because during that time, they will test negative yet they have a higher viral load. 17. Factors that decrease the risk of HIV infection include condom use, male circumcision, HIV treatment or antiretroviral therapy and the use of PEP or PrEP HIV medicine. 18. If you had an HIV exposure in the last 72 hours, 
You can reduce your risk of HIV transmission to almost zero by taking HIV treatment called PEP HIV drugs. Though you are required to take PEP in less than 72 hours after exposure, for maximum effectiveness, you will get best results if you take the medications as early as possible, probably in the first 24 hours. 19. If you are HIV negative but living with an HIV positive partner, then using PrEP medications will reduce the chances of getting infected by 95 to 99 percent. Hope you guys understand that, PEP is different from PrEP medications, and both offer HIV prevention capabilities. 20. Finally, if your partner has been taking his or her HIV treatment very well and has undetectable HIV, the chances of infecting you with HIV are close to zero, as long as he or she remains undetectable. The problem here is that, you will never know when your partner becomes detectable again. At any time, your undetectable partner could become infectious due to viral load blips. 21. If you want to learn more about HIV treatment medications, HIV symptoms, HIV prevention, and the latest HIV cure news, check it out in our previous videos on this channel. Though we have seen that, the risk to HIV is always low. Having multiple HIV exposures rapidly increases the risk of HIV infection. And, you guys do not know when you it is your fate day. You could still fall in the 2% and get infected, so using prevention methods like condoms, PEP, PrEP, abstinence, male circumcision remain key as far as HIV prevention is concerned. As a bonus, here are some bits of more information concerning PEP and PrEP. 1. PEP is two HIV medicines combined into one pill, while PrEP is three or more medicines combined into a single pill. 2. You will be required to take PrEP before, during and after your relationship with the HIV-positive partner. 3. PEP is only taken for 28 days after HIV exposure. 4. The most used PrEP is Descovy and Truvada. 5. Descovy is better than Truvada, because Truvada contains one dangerous medicine with the worst side effects. 6. The Tenofovir in Truvada causes bone, liver, and kidney problems a reason Truvada has been sued in courts of law. I already made a video about this. 7. If you need PEP you will be given the same medications taken by people living with HIV, but you will need to take it for only 28 days. 8. Both PEP and PrEP are not 100% effective so you still have a risk of getting infected through very reduced. This channel has lots of videos about PrEP, PEP, HIV testing, and others. Go through our videos and discover answers to all the questions you have.